Hey guys, uh, so today I'm going to show you my uh, food shopping. Uh, it's uh, firstly, I want to say that we went to farmers market today, uh, so I got a few things at farmers market and a different Brixton market as well. And um, yeah, so there's not too many things, not as many as usual. Uh, we usually buy a little bit more, but because we're moving in one and a half week and then we're going, we're off to Poland, so I really don't want to waste no food. So I just bought whatever I think I'm going to um, use up and I'll still have a few bits and pieces from um, last week or from recent days. Uh, so first is from a farmer's market. I bought this, look, this is like two punnets um, of strawberries. They are um, a little bit overripe and the guy sold it to me for basically one for one pound, so two for uh, two pounds. And um, but that's fine with me because I eat quite a lot of strawberries. I'll use it for my porridge. I also um, I'm probably going to make a smoothie, strawberry smoothie today, so that's fine. So um, I don't really mind because strawberries like this amount will probably be eaten um, by tomorrow um, at my house. So um, next thing is Swiss chard that I'm going to use for um, for juicing. Spring onions. This is all from farmers market. Now I've got biodynamic eggs. And it's only six today because I want to test. I needed some eggs yesterday, so I got some organic free range um, eggs from Tesco's yesterday. But um, obviously, there is a difference. There's still, even though they're organic and free range, there's still difference to the ones that you buy at farmers market. But um, I always try to get from farmers market. But if I do need um, from normal supermarket, I'll buy organic and free range. Uh, but there is still a difference. And um, next thing is. Um, and this is um, a bag of apples. Now I've I've got two like little cute cucumbers, uh, some lettuce for salads. I've got some organic cow yogurt. Um, that's from farmers market, and there is a huge difference to the to the normal one from the shop. This one reminds me of the one that my grandma used to uh, buy. Uh, at the sort of market back home in Poland. Um, I've got a punnet of um, what do you call it? Tomatoes. And um, these are courgettes. I love courgettes. And look at look at this. Look at this. This is a proper real courgette. Not when you go to the supermarket and they're all sort of same. It's like they look like they're cloned. Now at Brixton Market, I bought this coconut oil. This is the cheap one, the KTC one, which is refined coconut oil. I usually use, and I'll show you this one now. I usually use Bayona. This is the virgin, uh, not refined coconut oil, and um, and I always use it for everything. I just use this one for when I'm frying, whenever I'm frying protein pancakes or um, courgette fritters. Um, I always use this one because this one is a little bit better in really high temperatures. Uh, so when you're frying something, so these are this is really the only thing that I use it for. Um, next thing is we've got some chickpeas. I also try to buy the Bayona one um, at Whole Foods, but I haven't got any at home, so I, and I um, needed this one. Um, olives, green olives. I have this thing for olives recently, um, so I bought the big, big jar. Now coconut milk. Two cans were for one pound, and uh, I usually buy a different one, but they didn't have it, so I got this one. And I usually buy Bayona one um, as well in Whole Foods. I've got Scotch Bonnet because uh, Wesley's going to be uh, doing Aki and Saltfish, so this is Saltfish. Um, I've got an avocado. This is Aki. It's a Jamaican fruit, and um, this is I got this one. Um, this is antibacterial. It is hand wash, and I buy it in. Um, science breeze and this is paraben free it's really hard to get like a good price hand wash um, that is paraben free but um, I, yeah, most of the time I'll buy this one because it's not too expensive because most of the time all these ones that are paraben SLS free they're really really pricey and we have some plantains here there's five there was five for a pound they are slightly they are well they are ripe and that's why they were probably five for a pound so we're going to use some for akin saltfish but I'm trying I'm going to try to do to make the plantain chips which I haven't made before and um, yeah so uh, and then you need ripe plantains for that so this would be my shopping for today um i hope you guys have a have a well, <laughs> i hope you guys have a lovely day and i'll see you next time bye bye